안녕하세요. This is j i a Welcome back to my channel. I made 된장찌개, which is Korean soybean paste stew, a few months ago. And today we'll be making 된장국. As with 된장찌개, this soup is also one of the Korean representative home cooked dishes. I'll be making anchovy broth. Use medium or large sized dry anchovies. Remove the guts by opening the belly and scraping them out. The anchovy heads can be used or not, but the guts make the broth bitter. So make sure to remove them. Stir fry the anchovies in a non oiled pan for about 2 minutes until completely dry. This process will remove the unpleasant fishy smell from the anchovies. Add water and dry kelp to the pot. Cook in a medium heat. While the broth is being made, mince the garlic, chop the chilies. These chilies are optional. You may omit it if you don't like spicy. Slice green onion. Cut the cabbage into 2 to 3 inch pieces. Rinse in water and drain. When the broth starts to boil, keep cooking for about 5 minutes, then discard the kelp. Continue cooking the anchovy broth for about 15 minutes in a medium heat. And discard the anchovies and run the soybean paste through a strainer in the broth. This helps dissolve the paste easier and catches any big chunks of beans remaining in the soybean paste. Add the cabbage leaves in the broth and cook for additional 15 minutes. It looks like a lot of cabbage but it will shrink down to one third. Now let's add garlic, chilies and green onion and cook for an additional 5 minutes. Let's check our tenjang cook. Ah, it's done. I wanna try and see if it tastes all right. Mm. It's good, but it lacks a little bit of sodium. But I wouldn't add more tenjang, the Korean soybean paste, to it because it's going to get too thick and heavy. And I'm going to just add one pinch of salt. So adjust the saltiness of the soup at the last minute with salt. Now I think it should be okay. Very good. If you have this classic soup with a bowl of steamed white rice and some kimchi, it's going to be delicious. Thank you for watching. I'll meet you on my next video. Bye-bye. 